Hi, and welcome to VFX Tutors. In this tutorial, we're going to be continuing with creating our chain link, but for our saw blade. So I did record step by step for all of this, but my um, hard drive corrupted and I seem to have lost all the recordings for it. So we won't go through the, the step by step modeling start of this, but I will just talk you through exactly what I did. Um, It'll be pretty much, it's pretty much exactly the same as the previous um, drive chain to, sort of tutorial, but it's a little bit more, just the modeling's a little bit different, basically. So you can see here that I've actually already done it. And, but this time we have instances, so it's a lot lighter. So this is, I've, I did this exactly the same way. So if you want to know how to do this, you probably want to go back to the drive chain part one for the actual uh, reading of it, but we'll, I'll just go through. So the same thing as I did before. So I've got my mesh chain objects here, but this time because it's a, a uh, chainsaw, it has multiple different types of links. And at the moment, they're all here at the origin at the correct pivot points. So I'm just going to unhide this image plane. So I just basically modeled it from reference. So I just modeled all these links. And if I just go, if I hide that, you can see my link. If I just go to my orthographic. And if you want me to do a uh, redo the tutorial so you can see what I've done, um, that's fine. I'll, I can do that. Um, but I would I think at this if you've already got this far you probably already know how to do this sort of modeling so I'm just going to move these so you can see how if I just go to my wireframe and I'm just going to go through and just align these up to the links that I modeled So you can see that basically all I've done is just the same thing as I've done before. Let's model all this from reference. Uh, cool. So you can see that I've selected all the um, I've placed them all in the sort of order of how I've modeled them. I basically just modeled around it for reference. Um, pretty basic modeling. And you don't have to go into this much detail. And I've just done it for every link. But you'll notice that I've also got a couple of duplicates in here. Because if you look at the actual, the thing is with a chainsaw sort of a chain link, it's actually got a sequence. So, if we uh, go to our perspective, turn back on our smooth shade. And if we look at our, we can actually see that if we start with the cutting blade, they're both on different sides. So we've got one that cuts on the left and one that cuts on the right. So I've started with my first, I think that's the right side. Just go back to my wireframe. Then the second one in the sequence is this sort of just link that goes under, and you see it's a smooth sort of round thing under here. Then we've got this joint link. I'm sure these have all got proper names, but I'm just following it from the reference of this. Then I've got another link which is slightly different. So you can see both of these are slightly different. This has got this sort of hook here and points up. Then I've got another cut link which is, I've just duplicated the same one and, and flipped it over. But let's just go through. Um, one sec, so I've just pulled that out actually. So I'll do that, actually rearrange this so it's a bit clearer, so. Because I've, I've laid them here for cut link one and cut link two. Cut link 
cut like four, then five, six, and seven. And eight. So I've made sure that it starts off on a full loop. So I've got this and this first uh, left one, then a normal, then going through all the way to this link here, which is now then this link. So if I loop this, this will now be the starting link on that side. So we'll get a, a seamless loop. So with those modeled and sort of named correctly and put in the sort of order, I want to make sure that my pivot point on each of the ones are all exactly the same. So I started off with my pivot point on these actually, actually these outer brackets, because these outer brackets rest on top of the sort of edge of the chainsaw bar. So I've made this in the center and sort of made sure the bottom of it is just below, because I can adjust it. Then I made sure these are all centered and at the same height. So now if I select all these, you can see that the pivot points are all in the same place or in the relative correct place. So then I need to make sure that all of these are actually, so if I zero that out, then I can hide this. Because when you're working with mesh, you need to make sure that your scatter objects are at the origin and with the correct pivot. So once I had those sorted, um, let's just hide my instances. I then created the the spline to go around the curve, so this will all follow it around. Then for each of the cut links, so if I want the first one, so I've made mash cut link one. And it's exactly the same before. So I figured out how many number of points it takes for a loop. And I've just added a curve, then used the offset along spline. And I've done this for all of the, done a mash object for each of them. So now they should make a full loop. Then I did the exact same thing on the other side. And that's how I did the sort of chainsaw links. So it's not a, a, a super in-depth sort of tutorial. I can do more if you want. Um, and we'll, we'll be doing this again anyway. So when we actually rig it, because it's actually sort of rigged already, um, you can use the mash to sort of just run through there. But I'm only at the moment just using this so I can sort of see how it looks and stuff. So, yeah, sorry about that. I, I did have a... It was probably too long anyway, but it was just modelling all these sort of bits and using the mesh. But if you want to know more about it, it's it, it's all covered in the previous drive chain one. So I'll just kind of be repeating myself. But And, uh, yeah, just creating your models and stuff. So I know it was a pretty quick tutorial, or just like a sort of overview. Sorry that my uh, I lost all the recordings for it. Um, but yeah, if you want me to do it again, I, I can. But if you've enjoyed this sort of overview of the chain sort of thing, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.